So the derivative of 1 half x with respect to t is 1 half dx dt. Okay, that's your like your f prime, right? 1 half dx dt times y plus 1 half x times the derivative of y with respect to t, dy dt. How many of you guys got that? Ooh, good. How many are lying? <laughs> They're not lying. You. <laughs> they got this. If you didn't get it, do you have questions? Talk to me. It's okay. Don't be afraid. Go ahead. I can shut the camera off if it's making you nervous. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to look stupid on the internet. Really? Okay. All right. We'll, we'll shut it off and we'll go through it in a second. Let me go ahead and plug in numbers. One half. What's dx dt? Three. Three. What's y? Twenty. 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 Plus one half. What's 15. x? Fifteen. Nine what's over four. Ni negative nine over four. Negative nine fourths. Whoa, that negative is really important, isn't it? Oh, yes. Because if so. we if we didn't have it, we'd be adding these numbers instead of subtracting. Our number would be way way wrong. Okay. So it's really important that for a rate. By the way, does it make sense that our rate was negative? Not For y. Yeah, because the y dimension is getting smaller, right? Okay. Now, we don't know if the rate of change is the area. If the area is actually getting bigger or smaller, we wouldn't know until we actually combined these numbers and figured it out. Uh, I don't know what they are. Let's see. Calculator. Yeah. Calculator is out of this, I'm going to start stealing all your calculators. So you can't use them. You got it on tables. Cheating on tables. Who's the department head for math? She is. Uh, no, Miss Augusta. All right. Uh, so you end up with, if I did, if I did my calculator right, one hundred five eighths. I mean, that's wrong. What would the units be? What are the units of area for this problem? Feet squared. No. Feet squared. What's the units of area? Feet squared. Feet squared. Two dimensional. Feet squared. What are the units of time? Second. Second. Now, if I asked you, is the area of the triangle increasing or decreasing at this moment in time? What is it? Increasing. It's increasing. Mm -hmm. How do we know? Positive. Positive, right? Wait, how is it feet squared? Because the units of area, if the length is in feet, then the area is in feet squared because it's two dimensional. And the volume, of course, would be feet cubed, right? All right, wait, you're packing up, but I have a couple things to say. Number one, and I'm going to get this on tape so people who are watching know this. Your calendar that's printed is wrong. It says that 2-6 is tomorrow and that today we're supposed to be doing this cute, happy FRQ day. I killed the FRQ day. We're doing 2-6 today. So your homework tonight is section 2-6. On your printed calendar, it's listed tomorrow. I fixed the calendar online, right? So if you look online, it's correct. But on your printed calendar, it would be tomorrow's assignment. That's tonight. The reason I did this was because we only had one review day for the related rates test on the calendar, and I thought you might want to. We appreciate so, it. I want uh, So anyway, by the way, I've also printed new calendars for October, November. So if you want an updated calendar,